Hi everyone, it's Lauren and I'm coming to you today with a new series I like to call my Weight Loss Recipe Wednesday. So today I'm going to be going over something really simple. It's not quite a recipe, it's more of a technique on how to cook a delicious soft scrambled egg. So this is perfect for your pureed soft food stages of weight loss surgery. It's VSG, RNY friendly. It's just a great technique to have in your arsenal. So this is really simple. We're going to get started with what we need. One teaspoon of butter one learned egg, large egg, salt, and pepper. Now bear with me, we're going to do a little bit, something a little bit different. We're going to be using a saucepan instead of a frying pan, which you would normally cook eggs in. Uh, here I've just got my bright green little non-stick saucepan, and this is going to be sitting over no heat right now. Just, um, again, don't turn the stove on yet, just have your pan ready. It can be, if you're doing more than one egg, you know, I had to get a bigger pan. You're going to also need a silicone spatula like I'm showing here, silicone rubber, you know those things you usually scrape out cake batter and stuff with. So everything goes in our pan, egg, butter, again no heat, no salt, no pepper, not yet, okay? So we're going to stick this on medium heat, not high, not low, medium, and you're going to start breaking it up. You don't need to scramble the egg beforehand, just stick it in the pan and you're good to go. Here we have, I am just breaking it up. The no, remember, this is on medium heat, and guys, you need to keep in mind that eggs cook at a very low temperature. So this is going to happen really quickly. This is real time, so keep that in mind when you're going to be doing this. You don't want to overcook your eggs. So keep it moving. You have to constantly keep this moving at all times. It's like a risotto. Do not put the spatula down. Do not walk away. Keep this moving. You'll start to, you'll start to see that egg thicken up and get a lot of uh, a little bit more opaque and the butter's gonna melt. You can see how it's kind of sticking to the bottom of the pan, not quite sticking. Again, I am using a non-stick skillet and there is butter in there, but it is beginning to pull away when you use a spatula. Okay, so a couple after a couple seconds of this happening, you're gonna take it off the heat for about five seconds. Keep stirring when it's off the heat, um, and then you're gonna put it back on, about 10 seconds. Now this ensures that your egg is not overcooking because that pan is holding heat and you need to kind of variate. Again, so I'm taking it off the heat for about five seconds. Keep stirring, keep stirring, and you're gonna put it back on. Now you know your egg is done when you're, you um, have curds that are not liquidy like that. Like so we're at this stage, it's still a little bit liquidy, um, but this is almost done. So I'm taking it off one more time stirring it, you can see the curds are forming. They're different than a traditional like a scrambled egg you might find at like an American diner. They're they're very smooth and small curds. Okay, so this is almost done guys. This is gonna be my last time on the heat. I'm stirring it and it looks really good to me. It's completely pulling away. And I turned off my heat because it's gonna, again, the pan is hot, it's gonna continue cooking a little bit. So we need to plate this up, get it on a plate to stop it from cooking. You can see that texture is very smooth still and silky. Uh, I got this cute plate from Target. I like to put my food on small plates. It makes me feel like I'm eating more. Again, a one egg is plenty for me at this point in my surgery journey. Uh, so I don't need more than that, but again, it's always a nice visual to have. So I'm gonna plate it up on this little plate, uh, take it out. Oh, then I just got egg everywhere. That's okay, still delicious. And then now is when you're going to add your seasoning, okay? So I'm gonna start with my freshly ground black pepper. You don't have to freshly grind it, I just think it's cool and it tastes good. So here my camera fell and I am moving into handheld mode and I'm going to be adding my salt. I think eggs need salt. It's kind of like they really do. Um, you can get it away with it if you don't like salt. I love salty stuff, so I'm gonna add some salt. And that's it. Look at this creamy, rich, and decadent texture. You can kind of see it here pulling away with my fork. It is amazing, guys. Try this. You'll love it. It's super soft and creamy. It almost tastes cheesy. It's so good. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!